Hello, how you doing? It's Phil Thatch and I am here today at the gravel road. I think you should be able to see a gravel road there. The gravel road that leads to the Summit Knobs Equestrian Trail here in Hamilton County, Tennessee. And I'm using the Canon R7 and I'm using the 800 F11. And whenever you see me put the 800 F11 on the Canon R7, that means I'm kind of in desperation mode and I'm having trouble getting close to the birds. But uh, the 800 millimeter lens on this camera really helps. Um, the math, the full frame equivalent is 1100 and something. I don't have it in my head right now, but I'll put it on the screen. But it does get you a little bit closer when you can't quite get close enough, even on an APS-C camera with my regular bird lens, the 100 to 500. And not a lot going on. It's, it's late December pretty cold. As a matter of fact, we're supposed to have a huge cold snap tomorrow um, that's going to get us down into the single digits Fahrenheit for the low and, and the mid-teens for the high tomorrow. But today it's not too bad. It's, it's uh, in the mid-40s today Fahrenheit. And what I'm seeing mostly, and, and now that I'm making this video clip, three or four of them have flown up, I'm seeing some field sparrows, which I absolutely love, the subtle colors of a field sparrow and I also saw a mockingbird that really I could have I could have used my 500 millimeter lens to photograph it so um, let's take a look let's we'll start with the mockingbird so here is my first of many photographs of this same mockingbird it kind of flew from place to place along the side of the road and I followed it and the mockingbird is really common in my area. In fact, the University of Tennessee in Chattanooga, their mascot is a mockingbird. Here's a photograph of the mockingbird mascot I made at a basketball game with the R6 Mark II and the 24 to 105. And we see the mockingbird around our area all the time. And sometimes I'm embarrassed to photograph it, but I love the looks of the bird. It has beautiful yellow eyes and the Hunger Games books and movies by Susan Collins. You know, the Mockingjay is a big part of the Hunger Games books. And all a Mockingjay is is a combination of a Mockingbird and a Blue Jay. Here's a picture of a Blue Jay that I made with the R7 and the 100 to 500. I made this recently at the Hiwassee Wildlife Refuge. So the Mockingbird is popular in pop culture. So why in the world am I embarrassed to photograph it? Well, it's the birder in me. It makes me think if it's not a rare bird, it must not be worth making a photograph of. But on this particular day, I decided to fully embrace the mockingbird and I managed to follow this beautiful example of a mockingbird just a little ways down this road. It would move to a perch and I would follow it in my car with the R7 and the 800 F11 and make a few photographs of it. On this particular perch, I photographed it with one background and it stayed on that perch and I moved the car just a little bit and photographed it on the same perch with a different background. I think I liked the green background better than this background, but with this background, I was a little bit closer to the bird. And then finally, it got to the end of the road and it landed on the sign that lets you know that this road leads to the equestrian trail and I made one final photograph of this beautiful bird. And next we'll see a few photographs of my favorite little sparrow, I think. I think it is my favorite sparrow, the field sparrow. For those mockingbird pictures, I could have made them with the 100 to 500, but these field sparrow shots are with the 800 millimeter lens and very heavily cropped. So I really needed all of that lens. And who would have thought that you'd get a photograph of a field sparrow in a setting like this? It's very appropriately named the beautiful field sparrow. All right, that's gonna do it for me here on the gravel road that leads to the Summit Knobs Equestrian Trail where there's all this thicket lining the road where you can often do bird photography uh, all four seasons of the year. And usually I like to come here in the summer, but turns out it's enjoyable to try to photograph field sparrows here in the winter in all this thicket and mockingbirds thanks for joining me have a great day give me a thumbs up if you like the content subscribe hit the bell and as always i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye bye